introduction to Adobe Premiere. Um, the things I'm going to show you are the basics. There are different ways to do the things I'm doing and I will share with you Adobe's tutorial uh, that will give you uh, other ways to do things but here's just the basics. So when you are ready to create a project this window will open and you have new project here but you can also do new project um, or if you have an existing project, you can use open and then navigate to that project. But let's start here. So a new project and then you give it a name. So I'm just going to call this um, practice. Okay, and then here project location, you need to tell Premiere where the project should go. So you just navigate, choose location, and you guys are working off of the vault. So um, Actually, you see that I don't have it open, so sorry about that really quick. So your vault is down here. You get logged in. Okay. And my folder happens to be, I'm working on this one in, let's see if I have it in broadcasting. Yeah, there we go. And Premiere Basics. So I've already set it up. I got my files in here. So when you do yours, you will create a project folder, and then you'll put your files in there as well. So, back to where we were. So, when I go to save um, project location, I just do this, choose location. Now I have the 196, which is the address to the vault. And I just click here and uh, go find my folder again, Mr. Shula, Premier Basics. Now I'm saving my project to this location. It's very important that you save this to the folder where your media is from. You want to keep everything in the same place. So choose, and then I hit the Create button here. Okay, now it opens. Let me just give you a quick overview here. So this window here is called your Source Panel, and this is where the videos that you're previewing from your Project Panel show up. Here's your Program uh, Panel. That's basically where everything happens. When you edit your video, you can see what you're editing up here. This is your timeline or sequence, basically where you're putting your film or video together. And this is your project um, window, and this is where all of your media exists. So speaking of media, we need to bring the media in. There's so many different ways to do this, but let me just show you the, um, the initial way, and then as the semester goes on, I'll show you all different ways. So you just go to import, and I've got to go find it, and so, I had that stuff in TDM Vault 2, so um, go there, and it was in the 224 classes, and it was in um, broadcasting, and there was a Mr. Shula one, boom, and Premiere Basics, and I had all those files there, so I'm just going to click one, and you can hold down that command key and click a bunch of them, or you can just do command A and it'll select everything, um, and then import them, and there they are right there. Now it automatically laid them into the sequence for me, um, but I'm gonna just get rid of those because I wanna put them in there in my own way. Um, so I'm gonna delete those. Okay, so this is your sequence. And that's, once again, that's where you, or timeline, that's where you edit your video together. Now, right now, it's just a sequence. I'd rather give it a custom name, so I'm gonna call this practice again. Um, I don't like to just always stick with the, uh, the default names of things. Okay, so now, as you can see, when I click there, um, it'll say sequence, I mean practice. Now, you see this icon here, that means it's a sequence. This means this is a um, a video that has some audio in it. Um, this is just audio, it's just a song. So let me show you how the source panel works. So if you got a clip, you just open it up here, double click, and it shows up here. Now this is just the preview panel. It's not, nothing's been edited, but you can look at your video. You can look at this clip a couple ways. You can just hit play um, and look at it. Um, or you can scrub it to look at it. And you could take the whole clip and drag it down, or you could select just a part of it um, by hitting the I key to make an in point, in point and the O key to make an out point, okay? And now it, right here, if you just want the video part of it, you would drag and it would show there. If you want just the audio part, you would drag that. It would go down here, because this is audio track down below and this is video track above. 
Um, so video here, all the audio here. If you actually grab on the sequence, I mean on the, the clip, you drag it down and you'll have it on both layers. Now you can barely see that, it's really small. So down here you can um, pull this and it'll make it look bigger. So this up here says it's frames. Sometimes this will be set to seconds. Um, so, but we'll get into that later. I just don't wanna give you too much at once. So now here you have the um, program panel. So what's happening in your timeline is happening up here. You can look at stuff by hitting your space bar on your keyboard, or you can um, use home key to go back and you can just play it this way, okay? Spot, you can pause it with the space bar. Um, so once again, home key to get back, or you can use the up and down arrow keys to take you from the front to the back of a clip, um, or you can scrub across clips, okay? Now if you want to bring another clip in, you just, uh, oh, let me not, I'm jumping too far ahead. If you want to adjust the length of this, you just grab this and drag it longer, shorter. Um, if you decide to do this, and all of a sudden you have this gap here, you can either drag it to the front or right click and do ripple delete. So if you ever do something and you don't like it, if you do Command Z on the keyboard and just keep going, it'll take you back to the original. Um, if, once again, if you want to bring another clip in, double click on it and drag it down. Okay, and I'm gonna change this a little bit so I can see them both. If you ever want this to look the to see a little bit more of your clip, you can go like this and then you can see the thumbnail of it. Um, and if you want to see more of your audio track, you can do that. It shows a little bit more of it. And so that's basically how you put um, clips in there. If you want to um, bring music in, you would go down here and there's your, your audio, double click and you can listen to it. Um, and you can tell it's playing because I've got the audio meters there. And then just drag it down there. And then you have the music go along with your video. I will teach you later that you can uh, lower the audio of these things. Um, you can either mute it so you don't hear anything at all, or you can grab these levels and you can bring them down too. And so that's, you know, if so you don't want to hear that, maybe just hear your music. Um, but anyway, that's how you put the video together. Oh, one more tool maybe is the cut tool. That way you can cut a clip at a specific point. You could click on that other section, you get delete and it's gone. So I'm going to Command Z, what I just did there. Uh, I want to show you one more thing. If you ever want to just look at one of the panels all by itself, there's a uh, key towards the top, right below the Escape key, and it kind of got it looks like a little um, wiggly line. It's called a Tyndall key, and it will let you see that entire panel together. So sometimes you want that when you want to do some real detailed stuff. So Tyndall takes you back. Okay, so now once you're all done, that's the basics. Once you're all done with your video, um, you basically make sure you don't have a specific thing selected. You just have everything deselected. And, um, and then you just export it. So to export it, you go to, oh, by the way, you should always be saving your work periodically. That way, like, you don't lose it if something crashes. And, um, but anyway, just to export it, to turn it in, you just go to Export Media and then this window pops open and you tell it where to go. So it's already set to go to Mr. Shula's Premiere Basics one, but if it's not, you can click here and you can tell it exactly where you want it to go. And once again, I love to work in columns, but once again here, so see it's already in the right spot, but if it's not, you can click here and you, know, you can navigate to wherever you want it to be. But I want it to be where I started from and um, where's Mr. There? So, and I want it to be, um, oops, did I go to the wrong class, broadcasting? Sorry about that. And, okay, where'd you go? Where'd you go? I was putting it in Mr. Shula and at a Premiere Basics folder. Um, oh, actually, it looks like I had it called Five Shot. But, anyway, just make sure you put it back in the same folder that you started from. Okay, and then here, so it's going to the right place, you can change the name of it. You know, I could just say practice final, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so this is all set. Um, just leave all this where it is for now. We'll, look, we'll go into more of these things, but um, let's just start here. 
and then you do export and you can see it's going to take about 32 seconds to export and you see that little um, status line there and I'm going to go back here to where that was you saw I put in a vault and I put it in um, classes um, okay oops Mr. Shua okay and it's currently importing you can see it right down there says practice file um, it's not this this is your project pile that's all of your media but that's the actual clip there so you can tell that it's done because the status bar is gone so to play you can just click on it and you can hit the space bar and it'll play the video that I just made okay so that's really all there is to it okay we'll get the next one going here pretty soon